Over the last year, four different Bethel students have been shot and two have been fatal. I feel like if we could reach out to our community and preach the pain and suffering that violence has caused our city, that maybe it could spark something in somebody to make a change. But that hasn't happened and we are running out of time. We must come with a different approach. We must find a way to have our students safe in our community as well as at school. The same protection we know and feel we have at school, we fail to have when we walk off the campus. Instead of sugarcoating the real world, we need to instill in our kids the tools they will need to succeed in life. Talk to them about not getting themselves in certain situations. It has to start with the kids. If we can come together and talk to our families individually, we may have a chance. It may not change the way everyone thinks, but it will definitely make him or her second guess before they carry out a crime or take someone's life. At this point, all we can do is ask people to think twice before making a life-changing decision. To make this step, we ask that the youth in Vallejo take the time to stop what they're doing and actually realize what's going on around them. We want you to take this message home and talk with your families. Let them know we are striving to end violence, but we can't do it without them. Thank you for your support, and I truly hope one day our community will come together as one.